coffee is served on the terrace, madam. Thanks, Parker. Hmm, fine. Why so thoughtful? Tom, do you realize that we've been married nearly two whole years? Has it been as long as that? Mm -hmm. Why, it seems only yesterday that you were a blushing bride. <laughs> and what blushes? Sorry. Sorry? Why? Well, you knew so many pretty women before you met me. <laughs> you know, everyone warned me that no one could hold you for long. I was just wondering. <laughs> and what was she wondering? Whether you are happy. Hmm. Mm. You smell nice. <laughs> Love me? Love you? <laughs> I adore you. <laughs> Good. We'll have a nice, cozy evening at home, huh? Well, I'm sorry, darling. But Tubby phoned. Uh, said he wanted to come over and talk business. Oh, bother business. I want you all to myself tonight. I'll tell you what we'll do. What? I'll send Tubby home early. Oh, all right. Is that so? Yeah. All right, you win. I won't buy another stitch of clothes. I'll go around like Lady Godiva. Yeah. Just buy me a horse, will you? Buy me a horse? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Martin at home. They are on the terrace, sir. What are you squinting at? Is that a new coat? Yes, and if you say one word, I'll scream. How much? That's two words. I can't scream. Huh. You've got more coats than Eve had leaves. Now, listen here, dearie. Marion Davies got in just ahead of me, and she got the coat that I wanted. She paid $3,500 for her coat. I got this for $2,000. $2,000? Uh-huh. That's what I paid for it. You got a coat, but you didn't get it. It's a coat, and I got it. Yes, and ever since the crash, I've been smoking three for a half. Instead of three for a dollar. Ever since the crash, ever since the crash, you're the biggest bust that I know. Hello, dearie. <laughs> Hello, Hello, dear. Hello, Sally. Hello. How are you? Hi, Tom. Hello, Tom. Are you two squabbling again? Yes. Old man River's getting so economical that I'll soon be wearing cotton stockings and making my underwear out of flower sacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, sweetheart, I'll say this. Keep on, and you'll be the best-dressed woman in the bread line. Oh, now, Tubby, you know you can afford it. Well, in times like these, I think people should economize. Now, take shoes, for instance. Not a bad-looking pair? Cost me 12 bucks. <laughs> Sally pays 50 for a pair of shoe buckles. You know where these buckles are going to buckle in a minute, don't you? You know, Tubby, we do our best to look attractive just to hold your interest. You shouldn't grouch at the price. That's right, Eve. Living in Hollywood, there's too much competition. All these beauties running around. If a wife gets a shiny nose or a wrinkle in her stocking, she's sure to lose her husband. <laughs> Baby, you couldn't lose me if you tried. No? What did you say to Tom the day he lent his swimming pool to those Max Senate bathing beauties? What did I say? Tom asked you if you'd seen any legs that made you want to leave home. And you said, none but my wife's. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Yes, I'll never forgive you for that crack. <laughs> As if I could be interested in any woman but my wife. You may not have been interested, but you've been Popeye'd ever since. <laughs> and you'd better not be interested in any other woman. You know what would happen to you if you did. Eve, yes. there's several things I want to speak to you about. Do you mind? Why, of course not. I mean, one of them is very important. <laughs> I can't really... Say, hey, Tub, what do you two do besides squabble? <laughs> we don't mean it. Sally's a great old scout. One in a million. Wouldn't trade her for any woman on earth. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> the Phil. <laughs> oh, Sally. You know, I wish I had my own money. I wouldn't ask Tubby for one cent. <laughs> I think wives ought to have a salary. Oh, I suppose times are hard. You know, Tom's always complaining about the cost of this picture that he and Tubby are backing. But why pictures? Why not stick to oil? A lot of it stuck to them. Yeah, that's what I say. You know, pictures are such a gamble. You know, between you and me, I think it's so they can play around with the girls. Why, Sally. Oh, that's a dreadful thought. <laughs> well, all that worries me is that some sly puss will steal my meal ticket. You know, 
Tubby's head isn't screwed on any too tight. It's more like a pinwheel. Oh, if you know what I mean. Oh, come on. <laughs> Up the stairs. Well, Tubby. And what's this business conference you phoned me about? You know that little dancer down at the studio? Cleo Del Rio. Oh, you mean the dark one? Yeah. Brown eyes. Lashes a foot long and those uh, suffering red lips. <laughs> yes. Well, she wants me to get you. Go over to the ambassador tonight and uh, trip the heavy fantastic. Oh, yes? <laughs> and what are you going to do? Chaperone us? She's got a redhead for me. What do you say? <laughs> but I've got a wife, you poor sap. What do you think Sally is, my maiden lad? You hold the fort. I'll give the girls a jingle. No, wait a minute, Tubby. No, Tubby, don't be silly. It's no use. I'm not going. Go on, uh, tell her that I can't make it. Oh, tell her yourself. Call it off if you want to. Gee, I never saw such a guy. All right. Hello. Oh, is that you, Mr. Martin? Oh, uh, I'm over flutter. Just fancy your voice right in my ear. You have such a nice voice. So gentle and caressing. Uh, well, Mr. Del Rio, I'm awfully sorry. Oh, now, Mr. Martin, don't tell me you can't come. I shall just die if you don't. Uh, well, well, I... I think you're one of the handsomest men I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I say, you, you don't really mean that, do you? And I've watched you around the studio, and I've longed to talk to you. Of course, you're so aloof. Oh, please don't say you won't come. Please come. Oh, please. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Uh, well, well, I'll, I'll drop in with Mr. Smith uh, for a little while. Oh, Mr. Martin, you've made me so happy. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. And up, boy. And, and now remember, I'm only doing this for you. Well, I can see that, Tom. I appreciate it, old pal. <laughs> Butler? Yes. Yeah. Maybe a bit too thoughtful. <laughs> what are you grinning at? Oh, not a thing, old sport, not a thing. Don't think I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, I don't. I don't. It's going to be a very dull party as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> You'll change your mind. As a matter of fact, I'd promise to spend the evening with Eve. Oh, you've got the rest of your life to spend with Eve. A little variety now and then never hurt any man. <laughs> you know, I like the one better about the gooseberries. Oh, 